I know, but there will be other parties. More important parties. I'll let Annie know that you won't be attending. And John, thank you. Catering trucks are lined up out front. The florist, I could hardly even get through the driveway. Mrs. Chandler's gone all out. Yeah, well, Annie likes her parties. Last time we talked, I got the vibe you were kinda hoping it wasn't gonna happen. You probably should keep your vibes to yourself. And all of a sudden, Scott's got this can't-miss trip to Europe, and if he doesn't show up, the party's a bust. Mrs. Chandler would be pissed. You let me handle Mrs. Chandler. Is this the suit, Mrs. Chandler? Perfect. You can just hang it in the closet. Mr. Chandler will put it on as soon as he gets in from the airport. Hopefully soon. Thank you. You wanted to see me? You always look so great in the morning. So young, so fresh. Whatever you want, the answer is mm -mm, no. Not happening. You know Scott and I are having a big party here tonight mm -hmm. at the mansion. Mm -hmm. But you don't exactly let anyone forget. As much as I would love it to be a real Chandler event with the entire family here, oh, I just think you'd be so bored. <sighs> you want to make sure that I don't crash it. I don't want any trouble. Annie, you don't need me to blow up your party. You're going to do that all by yourself. I really appreciate your taking my custody case. It's the least I could do after Junior stole your lawyer. Are, are you sure I'm not putting you out? I mean, you're not even a divorce lawyer. I'm a contract lawyer. Marriage is a contract. Do you have any second thoughts about me taking your case? No, it's just... JR and I are already drawing blood. Well, my dear, I'm afraid this is just the beginning. Baby, are, are you sure you're ready to go back to work? I can't wait. And now we can start implementing the new changes that we need so that the hospital can go back to serving the community the way it did before David took over. Yeah, that's great. What is it? Is it David? The case? I know you don't want to hear this. Would you consider staying on leave just till the baby's born, baby? Sweetheart, I absolutely adore you for being so overprotective of me and of our baby, but this child is fine. We both are. I know you love a challenge. So then you won't ask me to stay home. Mm. Jesse, this is the first day of my professional life as a blind person. And I am going to succeed. It's kind of pathetic, the way you try so hard to belong. I am part of this family, and I am part of this company. You didn't belong when you married my dad, and you never will. You can wear all the fancy clothes and the designer jewelry, but it won't change who you really are. I understand that you still have a lot of anger about what happened between me and your father. You think? I hurt Adam, and Adam hurt me, and I regret that. But we did not belong together. But you and Scott, you belong together. Yeah, I love Scott very, very much. No, no, you love his name and the money. I, actually, I, I thought that you were moving. When the time is right? Well, now's good for me. One of the reasons that your father and I didn't work out is Adam never truly believed in me. Scott does. Why else would he make me head of Chandler's PR department? So I'm not going to ruin that. I'm not going to let him down, not within our marriage and not within the company. That's why tonight is so important. Tonight will prove that I am a woman that my daughter can respect. Leave the party to me. So, what's going to happen here tonight? I know, I know, it's none of my business, but I just feel like I could learn something the way you operate. Yeah, you probably could. Tonight? I'm going to let everyone know who's still king around here.
With or without your support, I know I'm going to make Emma and Scott proud. And I also know you care about your cousin, so all I'm asking is you don't do anything to spoil the night for him. Okay? Okay. All right. I won't go near your party. Done. Oh, oh, uh, Annie. Uh, when you embarrass yourself tonight, try not to bring Scott down with you. Bye. home. I love you, and I'm on my way. I can't wait for you to get here. Everything has been going perfectly. I just, I don't want to jinx it. I'm sure it'll turn out even better than you hoped. It will. It has to. I don't want you here tonight. You were to help me with Caleb. Not so easy now that he knows I'm working for you. I lost my easy access to Baldwin. We'll have to find a new way to get to him. Tell me what you want me to do. I'm working on it. It's bad enough that son of a bitch has an in at my company. But there's no way that he's helping Marissa get my son. How could he? He tried to set her up with Chandler's best attorney. When I squashed that, he had the nerve to sign on as Marissa's attorney himself. But there's no way in hell that they're going to win. And Caleb's beating his chest about how he's going to take my son away. He doesn't even have a clue that his own son is working with me against him. <laughs> I can't decide which one of you looks more guilty. When I think about what's going to come out in court, I just... You're scared? No, I'm, I'm not scared for myself. I'm scared for AJ. He has been through so much already, and it, I mean, it hasn't even started yet. You want to back out? This is a custody fight. It's going to get dirty, it's going to get nasty, and only one of you is going to walk away. I'm going to make sure that it's you. I won't back out. I'm going to fight as hard as I have to. It's the only way to do what's best for my son. Good. Is this the first shot after he's had some stewed prunes? Right, just, just stop. What? Why did it go silent all of a sudden? Well, there she is. Let me be the first to congratulate you. Hail to the chief. <laughs> Hail to the chief. Hey, Ma, how you doing? Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm ready to get to work. No, actually, more than ready. Listen, uh, before I get on with my day, I want you all to know that I am thrilled to be back. But it won't be business as usual, because I'm, I'm not the same chief of staff who left you. I'm better. I'm more fully aware of the needs of patients who struggle to be independent, but at times have to rely on health care professionals. I may fumble a bit, being blind does that, <laughs> but I'm learning more every day. And my O&M specialist will be joining me for a while. Not S&M, Jake. O&M. Oh, Orientation and mobility specialist. Oh. Okay. Now, I will wow. learn to navigate these halls and this job without my sight. Now, I may need help occasionally getting from one place to another or with documents until I finish my Braille training. But, on the upside, my sense of smell has improved to the point where I can tell you where the cafeteria is serving, even up on the third floor. Ooh, <laughs> that good, wow. is that a good thing? And for <laughs> any of you who thinks that losing my sight has caused me to go soft, well, you've assumed wrong. I will run this hospital just as well, even better than I did before. Mm -hmm. There. I'm done. So, um, let's get to work. It's great to have you back, Mom. I second that. Angie? Oh, right on time. You all have yes. met Shelly Novell, my own name specialist. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's the woman that makes all the magic happen. Angie does that all by herself. I'm just here to assist. Should we go to your office, get to work on organizing it? You know, I already have some ideas. Hey, let me help you, okay? Uh, it's, it's all right, baby. I got this. I'm sure you do, but I would love to walk you to your office. I know you would, but I'm good. <laughs> Yes, she <laughs> She told him. Yes, she did. 
Man, looks like uh, Mom is definitely at the top of her game. Yeah. What's the matter with you, though, Jess? You look like you're lost or something. Yeah. I, I just I just want her home so I can take care of her and make sure everything's okay. Everyone here is going to be looking out for her, Dad. I'm at the top of the list. Yeah, I know. It's just... I don't know. We know each other so well, but... I don't know what she needs, what she's feeling. Because I'm not blind. Or pregnant. Well, Mom's never been the type to put her feet up and be taken care of, but I'm with you. I wish she'd let us wrap her in bubble wrap until the baby was born. <laughs> yeah, you want to have that conversation with her? <laughs> Hell <laughs> to the no. <laughs> right. Can I borrow you for a couple hours? I think I might have figured a way to get where Angela's coming from. But I'm going to need your help. Okay, what do you, whatever you need. Excellent. Asher and I were just going over some work. Well, I don't see any actual work. Well, we were just getting started. Really? Yeah. Because it looked like I walked into the middle of something. Hush, hush. It's just some boring IT issues. Last time I asked you what was going on, you blew me off with a wad of cash. And this time, I'm just going to ask you nicely to leave. Fine. You want me gone, and so does Annie. Wait a second. You were banned from the party, too? Yes, but like I'd want to go. <laughs> we could crash, right? No, no. I can't believe you're okay with this. Annie's such a climber, it's actually embarrassing. If she wants to have her party, let her. You are way too laid back about this. Whatever. I'll let you two get back to all that work that you have to do. Excuse me. Your sister doesn't like being left out. Don't worry, she'll be in a much better mood tomorrow. So, party's off limits, but is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah. You stay out of trouble till I need you. Good. So you ready for your big night? I need you out of here so the staff can get the room ready. <laughs> well, last thing I want to do is stand in your way. Thank you. But you're going to need to return the favor. Have you heard from Marissa? Hey, you little spat about the custody fight poured some serious gasoline on the fire. I was just trying to help. Why? I don't know. I mean, we're family, right? Cousin-in-laws. Yeah. Tonight is a new beginning for me and Scott. I want everyone to be happy. The judge's primary consideration will be AJ's welfare. We have to prove that Junior is an unfit father. Tell me about his alcoholism. He hasn't had a drink in over a year. Every drunk is just one weak moment away from a bottle. <laughs> JR's drug of choice isn't alcohol anymore. It's power. He wants all of his company, all of yours, and he wants Scott's wife. Well, I don't hear being a good father on that list. He will definitely use the fact that I'm not AJ's biological mother. But you are his legal mother. Yes. And I, I love him as much as if I gave birth to him. He knows that, and JR does too. Or it could all just be a game. Hmm? What? When JR was sick and dying and completely dependent on you, you could have manipulated him into marrying you. No, I, I, I loved him. Well, I, there's a considerable amount of money that you could gain from that and add to that a chunk for adopting his son. Poor kid is just a pawn no, that, in the game. No, that's so wrong. And it's exactly the kind of story that his lawyer can spin. Now you've got to give me something to prove that he is a bad father. We both know what you have on JR. The question is, are you willing to use it? 